this is the lowest I want. I, I expect price to trade. Price may want to come back down to this weekly consequent encroachment, and that would make sense because we have engineered liquidity down here. These two up close candles do act as a breaker, so price can wick down into this breakout before expanding to the upside. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel already, I don't know what you're doing. What's going on, guys? It's GBP Baby. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's had a great day, and let's get straight into the charts. So we're going to start on Dixie as per usual and you can see this is Wednesday. We're still currently in, tra uh, in trading. We have 2 hours 25 minutes left. But you can see how we traded down to the consequent encroachment of this wick that I delineated um, in previous videos this week and on my weekly review. And then you can see we've also started to work our way up towards the buy side liquidity residing above these relative equal highs and working our way up towards these highs up here from the weekly chart. So everything's going according to plan. We had some beautiful delivery today. So let's drop down to the lower time frames and take a closer look. So on the four hour in yesterday's video, in Monday's video, and in the Sunday review, I was speaking about this breaker level here. Now this is a breaker and a four hour bullish order block. This is the bullish order block. And I was talking about how I'd like to see price return back down to this level um, for us to grab stops before moving higher. That's exactly what happened. You can see we traded down again into that consequent encroachment before turning around um, and trading higher. So you can see that, well, let's drop down for one hour. Here I have the days delineated and you can see just has just as the uh, New York session started, which we traded lower, aggressively lower, and then we kind of consolidated a little bit until we hit um, the interest rate announcement where we wicked one last time into this breaker before aggressively trading higher just as anticipated. So everything played out pretty much perfectly, so to speak. Um, again, if you're not already subscribed, I don't know why you're not. Like I'm literally out here calling the market. But anyway, um, look at this respect. This, here's, I want to show you this level. So if you look at the, the close of this, um, it's 103.011 and this level, which is 103.009, that's literally two pipettes off the low of this close. So again, this is precision on another level, all ICT concepts and everything that we've out I've been outlining this week delivered. Tuesday, you can see was very consolidated, like this is going to be time dilation. Now time dilation is what happens when the market basically just goes into a consolidation in order to extend the amount of time it can spend before moving because they wait you can clearly see they waited for non-farm payroll before this move higher right so this is an example of them using the tuesday as time dilation to again trick people into the market to build an engineering liquidity that they know is likely going to be getting taken at a later point but yeah everything's going to plan we traded down into the breaker again trading aggressively away from it and looking like we're about to run into these into this buy side liquidity. So what am I expecting? Well, tomorrow, of course, I'd want to see us trade up into this buy side liquidity, and I'd like to see us work our way up towards these relative equal highs up here as well. Now, I am going to quickly go back up to the four hour chart, and that's because I do want to bring our attention to this bullish order block. Now, I can use this bullish order block in order to frame the lowest I'd like to see um, price go to in the new day. So it's going to be the midpoint and that's going to be what you call mean threshold. And the reason for that is because if we are bullish and we are to remain and we are to remain bullish, price should respect this level and this should be the lowest it should trade to. So I'm going to get that marked out on our charts. Yellow looks cool. Very bright. So if we drop down back down to the one hour, you can see that this also lines up with this bullish order block. And this is pretty much again the lowest I'd like to see price trade for us to remain bullish. Now we can go down to the 15 minute just to get a better look of how price delivered. So you can see we trail down again, running down into that breaker before trading out of it. You can see I've marked out this last up close candle and that's because this is the breaker. We've got a low, we've got a high, we've got a lower low and then from then on price has only moved higher. Meaning that this level where the yellow line is also the, where the mean threshold is, this level should be watched as a level um, for us to be looking for buys again for us to start running up into the buy side liquidity. Now price doesn't have to reach down into down this deep into this level. However, again, this breaker should now provide support if we are to remain bullish. So we can also drag this out and at least we know that price should find, find support on top of this level if we are to remain, continue to trade higher. We do also have an inversion fair value gap though, just above it. So what you'll find is that price may respect the inversion fair value gap before it respects the breaker, meaning that we may come down into this, but we may find support at that at an um, earlier point and it might not even bother reach down here. So again, that's all up to the market, but um, 
moving into the next day will likely probably just consolidate and i'd like to think that we can start looking for higher hunting for higher prices tomorrow tomorrow we do have a lot of high impact news i believe at 8 30 and 8 30 and i think 9 or 10 o'clock as well so there is high impact news tomorrow and then of course we have non-farm payroll on the friday as well so again there's still a lot to go on and that means we're still in low probability conditions which means we do need to be careful however i would like to think that this has made the low of the week and we can start looking for longs and long setups on dollar moving uh, forward into the rest of the week let's now go on to gbp and we're going to start on the daily but yeah gbp delivered beautifully as well ran out the tuesdays and fridays highs trading into this wick here uh let's go down to the four hour what is this level okay it's so a rejection block level i'll talk about that in a second but yeah, we traded higher. And what is this blue box? Well, this is that breaker I was talking about right from Sunday moving through to Tuesday. So you'll see that this mean threshold is lined up perfectly with this breaker, high, low, higher, high. And you can see we've broken lower, making this block a breaker block. This is the highest I want to see price rally. And then I'd like to start looking for shorts within this range. We've got a high, we've got a low, we've got a higher high. So this last down close candle I've dragged right through and you can see how price referred to that before turning around beautifully and trade in towards these lows just as expected again all of this time dilation waiting for that interest rate announcement before they had done the judas swing for the week potentially we took out these relative equal highs um again we've closed one thing one thing to take note of is the fact that we've closed within the breakup block so like as in price has stayed within it and then once we drop down to the 15 minute we'll be able to get a closer look at what's going on this i want to talk about this phantom flag bull flag now retail sees things like this so i'm going to draw a triangle here this is what you call a bull flag right so before all of this happened retail was watching price like this saying oh, okay this is a bullish this is a bull flag as in price will continue higher and obviously that's not what happened but i'm saying that price intentionally builds in these ideas for retail to think that this is what's happening and ict speaks about this in month one of his core mentorship like he says that it's intentionally there to trick uh, retail into thinking that they can be going long and then look what happens they got apps anyone that was going long got absolutely you know pretty much exterminated and then even after those people that went long got exterminated those that went short have also got exterminated unless you were like me and i entered on the breaker with my stop loss above here but we'll talk about that at a later point so let's go let's go down to the five minute Again, you can see the consolidation and you can see us getting this very tight consolidation before again, interest rate announcements and then kabam, we move lower. We run back up, run out these relative equal highs, just resting above here. So anyone with shorts above there getting tagged and dragged into the lo into the move and trapping the traders. Um, I do actually have a breaker within the breaker. So remember that blue box is a breaker, but you'll see this purple line that I have delineated as well. This is this candle right here. We've got a high, we've got a low, we've got a higher high. And then from then on price moves lower so this is the last down close candle and that's why i've dragged that right through and you can see how price is referring to it here referring to it here referring to it here it's interesting to see how price traded away from it and again returned to it after the interest rate announcement and it used it to refer to this is typical price action though it's very typical for breakers to be returned to after it's been traded away from so you can see we traded away from the breaker and then again we return to it now next time it, this happens a lot it happens a lot so it's typical price action but it's nice to see now let's look at let's talk let's have a look at what we're expecting for the rest of the week or for tomorrow which is thursday so now we have this as this down close candle as a bullish or as a bearish order block sorry so we know we can treat that as such but let's go down to the one hour and we should be able to refine our um, expectations so we have inversion fair value gaps now we have one here and we have one just above right here as well now the one i'm going to keep my eyes set on is going to be the first one because i'd like to think that this can provide us resistance and i'm also going to look at the 50 percent level of this wick and you'll see that lines up with the top of that so let's just get that drawn out like so we'll make this red and then let's drop down to the 15 minute and take a closer look and you'll see we have a breaker here why we got a high we have a low we have a higher high and then price is traded lower so it's the last down close candle before the up move before the down move and you can see that level lines up perfectly with that so again i'd like to think that price can trace its way into that before finding resistance to continue with lower prices because i am expecting a run below these lows 
and as those lows are getting taken i'd be expecting dollars highs relatively equal highs up here to be getting taken so you can see how my my expectations are starting to line up with one another um again we are pretty close already i wouldn't be surprised if we consolidated all the way through um asia session or if asia session even made that high so times like this is again very low probability not risking much at all but um it's just interesting to see you'll see as well here i have this little pick box drawn out now this is also a breaker why we got high low high high that we break lower and you can see how prices use this as almost like a swinging point i don't anticipate price to trade back above here um preferably and that's purely because we've traded through it on the downside upside and downside finally with the expectation to go lower so price shouldn't really need to return back up to that we have euro usd left um let's go on to the week daily sorry beautiful price action on euro we traded higher we did trade into this 50% level which i was talking about um we'll talk about that on lower time frames and then we started moving lower just as anticipated as well drop down to the four hour and you can see again that wick now we did actually run up and take out this high i didn't anticipate that so that's one thing i didn't get right guys or end of the world but um we, we wicked up there and then again a price turned around at this pink level remember i was saying price is going to treat this as a buffer and it really has now this level that i've marked out i do believe it's going to use this as a buffer so we might find that price trades through it find support touches this level and then when we trade through it i'd like to think it can find resistance at this level to push lower running for our target you see how it buff we, we came through it here and then as soon as we traded above it it was oversold and then look what happened we started running lower and now we've got some beautiful relative equal lows residing below here ready to get taken in the new day but let's go down to the one hour so we can get a better look again traded higher there's that 50 percent level ran those stops just about with um, interest rates and then price is aggressively trading lower now 15 minute not much more can be said again this was the level we called as the high but you can see we ran out those stops just above these highs um a little break at entry right here high low higher high so i'm watching again i'm watching this level and you can see and this is what i mean when price returns to the breaker so we return to it here as in we traded into it here and here left it and then what happened price returned back to it if you go and study this, you'll understand. And the only way you're gonna learn that is through back testing, guys. So make sure you get back testing or watch some of my videos of my back testing. I've got loads. So yeah, what am I expecting on Euro? Well, we can go up to the one hour and we can look for a PDRA that we wanna see price turn around from. Where is the breaker? Well, technically here, why? We've got high, low, higher high, and then break price broke lower. So we can drag out this candle and this would be the highest now I'd expect price to trade on euro again got a bearish order block up there supporting that and if you look at these relative equal highs just above here as in all these highs we've grabbed stops above their price we are bearish i am bearish on euro meaning that price shouldn't need to come back above this swing high so what does that mean any positions um if we are, say we were to go short from this level i'd simply put my stop loss above there I'm not expecting it to take it out if price does let's say price trades higher and it unexpectedly goes that way if it does so that's fine and I'd simply step away from the charts because it's not doing what I expect. It's really that simple, guys. It's not a matter of, oh, you have to be right, you have to be wrong. It's just being able to adjust to the conditions. It's just like chess, you know, being able to think think ahead and predict what the most probable move of your opponent is. If you know how to play chess, you'll know what I mean. If you don't, you should probably go learn before you start jumping into charts. Anyway, we have some relative equal lows that are formed now here. So what's price going to want to do tomorrow? It's going to want to draw to that. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. But yeah, I'm going to be watching this level because it's, pretty, it's practically a breaker and um, we'll see how price treats that in the new day. So that's going to be everything, guys. I hope you found this in um, insightful. If you have any questions, anything at all, drop a comment below. I will reply and smash that subscribe. Look, look what I just did. I just showed you. Anyway, smash the subscribe button and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. Let's see if you guys want to look in my eyes. You guys want to do something? You guys? That's what I thought. No, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought.